get ready. PortAventura World is a resort near Barcelona, Spain, made up of two parks, PortAventura and Ferrariland. Filled with world-class roller coasters and the recent addition of some dark ride attractions, PortAventura World should be on the radar of every theme park fan. These parks are extremely popular and can get long wait times, but there are ways to avoid busy crowds and long queues. To help you enjoy your next visit, we put together six ways to have the best time possible in PortAventura. Get ready. Number six, head straight to China. The China area of the park is right at the back of PortAventura Park. It's home to Shambhala and Dragon Khan, the park's most popular attractions. These two roller coasters can see long queues all day, but the best time to get on them is the morning. The majority of the crowd will go to Furious Baco near the front of the park, so you'll avoid big crowds by heading straight to the back. You can then work your way to the front of the park, and this will hopefully help you avoid queues throughout the afternoon. Sesame Street is right beside China, which will benefit you too. PortAventura's latest attraction, Street Mission, also gets pretty long queues. When you finish in China in the morning, you should head straight to Street Mission. Having the most popular rides in the park done early will help you ease your mind and enjoy the rest of the day. You might even have time to go back and re-ride some of these attractions later on. Number five, treat Ferrari land like another area of the park. In 2017, PortAventura World opened its second gate, Ferrari land. However, it's not somewhere that you can really spend a full day. It's not dissimilar in size to the China area of the main park, with a similar amount of attractions too. It has some great attractions such as Red Forest, Racing Legends and Flying Dreams. Some may only have a day to visit and will opt to go to just the main park. We say get a two park pass even if you're just visiting for a day. It costs just five euro extra to have access to Ferrari Land and you can get its top few attractions done in a couple of hours. The main park is already huge and it can be difficult to get everything done in a day. But one of the ways to have the best time possible in PortAventura is to prioritise what you want to go on. I know I personally would rather go on Red Force and Flying Dreams than Furious Baco and Hurricane Condor, so I'd arrange my day accordingly. Number four, choose a quieter time to visit. Port of Ventura can get really busy on holidays, weekends, and generally in the summer. Some queues can easily hit two hours and operations can be pretty poor in the park, meaning the speed at which queues move is slow. I've had some disappointing experiences myself in Port of Ventura due to long queues. One of the easiest ways to have the best time possible in Port Aventura is to visit at a quieter time of the year. The resort season begins in March and ends in November, with select dates throughout December and January. The best times of year to visit are March through May and September through November. If you're limited to the summer to visit, aim for a weekday and you'll find much shorter lines. It's also best to avoid Spanish and specifically Catalonian holidays. Number three, use the single riders lines. Single riders lines allow you to join a shorter queue at the expense of ditching your friends or family. In an effort to fill places on trains, there is a separate queue for people who are waiting to fill single seats. This is another one of the great ways to have the best time possible at PortAventura. Single riders lines are available for Shambhala, Hurricane Condor and Red Forest. Beware that some single riders lines can sometimes be as long as normal queues though. Try to gauge the length and speed of a queue before joining to avoid disappointment. It can be a great way to get multiple rides on your favorite attractions in one day and also save time for other attractions. Number two, download the app. This is a pretty standard tip when visiting any theme park these days. PortAventura's app will help you organize your day and assist in making decisions throughout the day, helping you to make the most of your time. The app has live wait times. So for example, you can check how long the queue for Stampede is before trekking over there. You might notice the queue for Tomahawk is actually much shorter and head there instead. PortAventura has a good selection of shows too. The app will list all show wait times and events in the park on the day of your visit, and this can help you make a general plan for your day. It's certainly not the best theme park app we've ever used. There are no menus for the restaurants around the resort, unfortunately. But with that said, having the app is better than not having the app. So it's definitely one of the ways to have a really good time in PortAventura. Number one. Be prepared. There are a couple of ways to be prepared for your trip to Port Aventura, other than what's listed above. Port Aventura is a huge park, and you're going to get a lot of steps in. Make sure you wear comfortable shoes, preferably runners, or something made for walking. You'll also get thirsty throughout the day, so bring a bottle with you. There are plenty of water fountains for you to refill your bottle. Also, bring sun cream, 
you're right on the Spanish coast and it's not an overly sheltered resort. You'll be exposed to the sun for a lot of the day in Puerto Ventura, so it's important to put on sun cream multiple times throughout the day. It's also an idea to bring some snacks. The resort doesn't allow outside food and drink, but you can definitely sneak a few snacks in. This will keep you going while you're standing in lines and prevent you from feeling hungry throughout the day. Make sure to check out our top six hidden gems video for Puerto Ventura on screen now, or head over to our channel for even more theme park content. That concludes our list on how to have a great time in Port Ventura. Now you're ready. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.